Ah, yes, call to trial. Lovely. And I get to customize the mech, so we go in with whatever we have. Do we actually get to see? No. We work it out as we as we hop in. Fingers crossed. Trial initiated. Wolf Clan protocol. Oh. Systems, oh. Okay. I'll make this work. You shouldn't be too much work, I think. Image enhanced. Engage. Enemy mech destroyed. Heat level critical. Shutdown sequence finished. Wow. Shutdown sequence overridden. That is way too many pulse lasers. Let's chuck some of these into the second slot. Okay. How many heat sinks are in this thing, damn it? That many weapons? No one put enough heat sinks in. Oh well. Enemy mech destroyed. Trial phase one. Successful. New rank acquired. Shoot engagement sphere to initiate trial phase two. You have 15 seconds. I want to cool off heat as much as I can. Critical. Trial phase two initiated. Let's get ourselves moving. Image enhanced. Engaged. It's a gargoyle and a storm crow. Storm crow is way faster. Maybe I'll draw them apart. Get a little bit of height, drop this volley on him. We're gonna cross fields of fire now. There's just no heat sinks on this thing. Get some spacing. We gotta cool off. And that would be a very damaged storm crow there. Enemy there we go. Destroyed. Got him. Now we can build up some distance and take out that gargoyle. Now from memory, gargoyles keep most of their weapons in their arms. So if we can. Let's just take him out at range. We've got plenty of extra missiles. He's a tough one, isn't he? I think we can make it to here before he gets line of sight on us. So I, yeah, it'll be brief exposure. Can I hit a leg? Perfect. Well, now it's simple, isn't it? Just hop out, dude. <laughs> that last shot, I fired the entire white, so that the um, the second group, and an almost cooked down mech. You can see why I make my mechs exactly a particular way. Timberwolf. Let's see, what's the mission first? Operation Sable Flame. 
follow the nav sequence to the sensor array dome. Liberate the staff by destroying any defending units. The dome must not be harmed. Macduff's atmosphere is hostile. Ah oh, yes, we're in vacuum. And a breach will kill the personnel inside. There must not be any stray shots. Take back the dome and defend it until more units can arrive. I think a Timberwolf is a good option. Timberwolf. Question will be, which variant? Hmm. No, we're not using that one. Hmm. I quite enjoyed playing with the standard loadout last time. But that's not nearly enough um, heat sinks. So let's just gently customize this. We'll try some ER laser work. I don't really use them very much either. So I think we'll get rid of the, of the larges because they are less efficient. Large generate way more than twice the heat and not twice the damage, so we'll ditch them. They get more, more range though, which is pretty good. I think that one. Get rid of the pulse laser. And machine guns are good. LRM. Um, this is pretty mech heavy, this one. I might pack some extra extra missile armament, gun as well, and the rest heat sinks. This should be interesting. I definitely have a preference for the um, pulse lasers, but this should be fun. We're going to rip everything out, just so I know where everything is. Yeah, we don't want LRM or any ammo sitting in these slots. If they cook off, we die. Okay, so missiles and guns on the arms. LRM 1. Oh, and the LRM 20. One sec. Watch this. 15 is way more efficient. Could probably carry a third if we are clever about this. Oh, no, but that's more of a broadside. And an extra heat sink. Yeah, let's, let's work with that. Okay. The 20s look cool, but I'd much rather more efficiency in my shots. There's such a mess through here, isn't it? LRM1, LRM2, LRM3, machine gun 1, and it's ammo. Machine gun 2, and it's ammo. And the rest, LRM ammo. So this is 3 here. Just trying to clear this, the screen a bit so I can see what I'm doing. So that's, um, yeah, that'll be good. 45 missiles impacting all at once. So, yes, much better. Okay, we want to center line. I'm going to stagger these out a little bit just to see how that affects things. Heat sink center line. More heat sinks. May as well have them center lined. Extra slot for a heat sink. Potentially, it would be wise. So I'll stick it in a leg. We'll rip out the endo steel. Ah, oh, I also should have done my, my trick up here. Don't mind me. Let's have a look. Yeah, that frees up some space for later. That's good. Endo steel. Can rip out this and put the heat sink in. Okay, they're all sorted. It's just oh, we have more machine gun ammo. Okay, drop that in there, and the rest is endo steel. Do we fill every single slot doing that? Every single one, no space. Okay, let's see how we go. ER laser. Just to prompt me. Now I could take a friend along, but that dome sounds vulnerable. So I think we'll do this one on our own. I need more experience though. That's the problem. So I'm actually going to take one friend. I'm tempted to give this one the PPC loadout, because the uh, AI seems to go alright with that. Yeah, it seems to be good. Cool. 
exit config. Let's roll. This will be fun. So 131 is my attack queue. I'm going to hold off on giving the attack command until we are, we're both clear. All points attacking your target. Good hits. He should be finished pretty soon. Oh, can we climb this or not? It appears not. We're stuck. Uh oh. This has not gone well. Sometimes you just get stuck. And. That's really close to the thing. I can talk. Oh, let's risk it. Good dodge. It was a critical hit. Probably the machine guns hit him. Get away from them. Oh, hit. get him. Just flanking a bit here. Now I get some laser fire on this one. We'll focus our fire a bit. Ooh, PPC inbound. That was a bit close. Pulse is much easier to use. Was that a PPC that went past my leg just then? Alright, two guys off to the northeast. Let's go track them down. Command. Attack my target. Attacking your target. Cut off their approach to the to the dome. Which looks kind of cool, really. Parameters. Yeah, some of those might even hit him. Um, maybe not. See, I'm much better with pulse. I'm showing my back. Jesus. Fuck it. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, having a buddy with PPCs is at least... You can see where their firing lines are. If you're wise enough to stay out of them is the real question. There we go. There's his leg. I would suggest now that PPCs will finish this guy off. Fold in behind my buddy here. Missile's inbound apparently. Must be that storm crow. The thing is, the uh, dropship will also fire missiles. That was a good. That was good. Let's not put a 180 in because we're going to cop that PPC to the face if we keep doing that. It's 
See, I think these are more efficient, but less practical. And that's sort of the question, right? For a heat to damage ratio, we want the ER lasers, but... a fairly short sort of episode really with the trial and then this one well damage was fairly moderate too look at that just one arm damaged really this is a pretty good loadout I think I would swap out the pulse lasers though excellent in fact I'll just make a quick quick build of this mech now just so I've got it Rifle, summer, Customize. Where is it? Yes, this one here. So if I were to rip out the ERs and go with Pulse, what happens? Yeah, we blow the weight budget. So Pulse is heavier. Hmm. Which would mean probably losing an LRM launcher. Or, honestly, the machine gun's pretty useless. You just replace this mass with heat sinks and go nuts. That's my theory. And then we're just back at my standard loadout. So anyway, good to play, good to sort of play around a bit. I'll cut the recording here and get on to the next episode shortly. I'll see you there. Bye.